Hello and welcome. Today, we would like to give you some insights on how manpower planning works in WePlan. WePlan consists of several basic and advanced modules. These are tailored to the needs of manpower planners, their management, as well as their stakeholders. So let's start with the basic planning functionalities today. One of the fundamentals of WePlan is flexibility. This holds true also for the data. What we will go through today is the various ways to get data into the tool, how to process the data in the tool, and how to export it if necessary. Our vision is to make teamwork in manpower planning easier and improve collaboration. That's why we have, for example, created this feed, which shows you a list of all activities of your team members since you last logged into the tool. In the top line, you will see all the modules available to you. So this is also where we are getting to the planning module. The starting point of this module is the scenario overview. So what we see here is a nice overview of all planning versions we have created so far. From here, you can either set up a new version or edit an existing scenario. Let's start with changing an existing planning scenario. I want to now edit an assumption by changing the unit that we want to plan this assumption in. Here, you can also add a new assumption or change the order of the display. Once that is done, we go to the spreadsheet view and start working on the data of this assumption. WePlan was built to replace spreadsheets without sacrificing the flexibility they offer. So by opening WePlan spreadsheet view, you can directly start to fill your data, just like you are used to. You can pick across numerous planning options when working on assumptions. For example, you may vary not only across different time granularities, but also different planning units. When you start working in WePlan, you will notice how your planning quality improves day by day because you can flexibly adjust your planning granularity depending on the use case. Well, a part of manually planning the assumption in the spreadsheets, you may use other import sources. You may upload your data, leverage historic data by uploading your actual rosters, or even use an interface to another system. Now let's learn how you can work with this information to improve your planning with WePlan. Now we have uploaded the actual rosters into WePlan and created the report to easily understand what the data is telling us. Here we see in the historic roster data that actually sickness and operational disruptions in summer months have added up to 20% of the total flying need in duty days. Now let's look at our current establishment in these months. This is our total FTE supply versus demand at a standby level of 15% of flying duties. At 15% standby, there is a slight surplus of crew FTE during the summer months. But based on the historic data analysis we just looked at, we will actually have to assume the sickness and disruption to be 20% in summer months. Let's change the assumption and see what this means in FTE demand. Once we have made the change, we can comment on it so our colleagues know why this assumption was changed. Well, looking at the report now, we see that we don't have enough crew to cover this increased assumption value. But to actually trigger this discussion with my management, I will have to show also an intermediate scenario. Let's do that and change it to 17% of the flying demand. And also here, we comment on what we did. This way, I can also later on reconcile back the changes. Now we see the increase in FTE demand is around 5 FTE. Let's compare all three versions in a report so that management can discuss and decide on the associated costs and risks. Same as in the spreadsheet view, the scenario comparison report also enables you to view the formulas behind the results that are being displayed. Now let's see how you can create reports and export your data. With WePlan, you can create your own reports. We provide a variety of chart types and you can simply select the planning groups and period you would like to see. You can also look at a certain KPI and zoom into a more granular view to even display weekly or daily reports if you want to know more. Reports can be shared with your team, other stakeholders, or management. Reports can be saved as templates in case you want to produce them regularly. For example, you may want to create a monthly crew management performance report. And in case you would ever like to use the data outside of WePlan, you may also export it to CSV or Excel format. 
besides the option of creating your own reports and templates. You may also pick from our standard dashboards. And finally, you can also integrate WePlan into your existing crew planning system solution and just use interfaces to push data to other systems. Well, that's it for now. We hope you enjoyed the demo. 